We are going to try and take you live back to Corrigan in WA's Wheat Belt region now where the Livestock Collective Director Stephen Bolt is standing by in a, a sale yard where uh, I understand he's going to get off soon and uh, get involved in that sale process. So we won't keep you for too long, Stephen, and hopefully the link holds up for us this time. I mentioned earlier that sheep farmers, some sheep farmers in WA, are facing the prospect of having to cull their sheep flocks. And, and I was asking you before we got cut off earlier just why that's happened. Why are farmers getting to that point? Yeah, look, it's a very, uh, you know, very difficult situation for uh, facing a lot of growers uh, at the moment throughout WA. So we've got a huge oversupply of sheep making their way onto the market. And the cause of that's been through the federal government decision to uh, announce the phase out of the live export trade for Western Australia. You know, live export is very important to, to the WA sheep industry. And, uh, you know, the, there's been a total loss of confidence by growers in Western Australia. And as a result, we've seen, yeah, just flooding of the market with growers looking to reduce their risk and move out of the sheep industry. Well, yeah, as you point out, I think it's about 97%, isn't it, of that live sheep trade operates from the state of Western Australia. But I see the WA Premier, Roger Cook, he's saying that that plan to phase out live sheep exports has nothing to do with these prices it's dropping. He's pointing out that a formal decision's yet to be taken. He's saying it wouldn't be implemented anyway for another several years. What would you say to that? Yeah, look, uh, you know, I think the, the government are... are you know, extremely misinformed about what, you know, confidence means to, to the growers. Uh, you know, we've got very tough seasonal conditions for a half of the state at the moment. But, uh, you know, growers are making decisions on the long-term, you know, planning for their business. A, a sheep industry, uh, a sheep business, you know, we make plans over a 10-year period. So it's, it's not something that we can uh, change our business structure in a short amount of time. And, you know, for us, the, the real concern here is, you know, the policy shouldn't actually be in place. It's not supported by the science. The industry's made huge strides uh, to, to improve the animal welfare standards all the way along the supply chain from, you know, on vessel to in market. And uh, we are world leaders at the animal welfare throughout the world. Well, yeah, tell us a bit more about that, because... Our viewers may recall the outrage that we saw some years ago now over those conditions on the live export ships. There were accusations that because of the heat on board that the sheep were basically being cooked alive and it all sounded pretty ugly and grim. You're saying, though, you're confident that those conditions have changed? I mean, what is it like on board those live trade ships now? Yeah, look, that's certainly not the case. So... The live export industry is highly regulated industry. So uh, we have, you know, vets on board. We have uh, a large number of stock, trained stock people on board to look after those sheep. We now have a summer mor moratorium period. So we're not actually exporting during the hottest 25% of the year. So there's three months where no sheep make their way across to those Middle East countries. And we've seen, you know, in the last 12 months reported by the Federal Department, the lowest ever mortality uh, on board. Uh, across to those Middle East destinations. We also have uh, the export supply assurance scheme that's in place in country or in market. So making sure that, uh, you know, the Australian sheep, we have control of them all the way along the supply chain from start to finish till they're processed. So we're very confident about uh, the position that, you know, the industry is in. We've made huge improvements uh, and we will continue to strive to, to be the world leader uh, in animal welfare. And there are some uh, critics who say that the live sheep export trade can simply be replaced by basically sending frozen meat overseas. What do they understand about that proposition? Yeah, look, that's simply not the case. So that, that market for, for live sheep uh, will continue. So whether they're taking those sheep live from Australia or whether we're, they're taking them from other countries, uh, that live market will remain and it won't be replaced by chilled or frozen. And they're actually complementary. Uh, so, you know, where we're able to put large volumes of live sheep into those Middle East markets, they're supported by uh, taking our chilled and frozen product um, along with those live sheep. So, you know, the risk is that if we stop sending live to our Middle East customers, that uh, we'll have reduced for chilled and frozen product as well going into those countries. 
Stephen, while I've got you live there from Corrigan in WA, today our team at Sky News Weather, they've unveiled their extreme weather outlook for summer. We're being warned of high temperatures, droughts, bushfires. For you farming there at Corrigan in the wheat belt, uh, how are conditions out there? Are you worried about the months ahead? Oh, look, I, I suppose this year has been challenging, as I've said, particularly for the northern half of the, you know, West Australian, Southwest Land Division. So uh, very low rainfall. Uh, the bottom half of the, um, of the state has had a, a really favourable season for most. So, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, every season comes with challenges. I don't think that uh, the outlook for, for us is, is that's not something that we're not expecting or used to. So... You know, I suppose the priority for us as live export, you know, producers or sheep producers in, in Western Australia is to make sure we've got the tools for risk management. And, and that's what live export provides for us. It provides risk management to be able to turn off uh, sheep, you know, in a dry season like this. So, you know, that's one thing we'd be calling on government at the moment is to, um, you know, to make sure the process to opening the Saudi market happens as uh, soon as possible to to give access to, to send more sheep out of Western Australia uh, into that live export market, but taking pressure off on farm uh, for growers. Steve Envolt, we will let you get back to business there at the sale yard. Really appreciate you making the time. Yeah, thanks very much, Ash.